boobs. <laughs> oh, God. All right, all right. All right. Well, Jesus. do you live your life in fear? What? Do you? <gasps> Keith? Not as much. <laughs> I'll be honest. Well, if you are, like me, I'm just a scared. <laughs> no. a fear. If you feel, if you feel like, like fear might be blocking you from reaching the things that you want to in your life, we have someone who has been with us before, and he's back with us today to talk about getting your life on the right path. We have life coach David Beck with us on the line. Good morning, David. Good morning. I'm so happy to be back. Thanks it, for having me. It's nice to have you with us. It's very, very nice to have you with us. So what is the, the primary fear that blocks people from doing the things they want in life? Oh, primary fear. Well, there's so many. Um, <laughs> I would say fear of rejection and fear of connection. And it really is. It really is that because I was assuming that, but I'm thinking it couldn't be that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it is. It is. It is. It is because how often are we? You know, fear comes up because sometimes we're afraid that we'll get judged or we don't want others to take something the wrong way. So we keep it to ourselves and then it just gets bottled up and then eventually someday it's going to come out. And most likely it'll come out in a not so empowering way. Very, very interesting. Now, David Beck is uh, it has a book he's in a part of a book that's available right now called conversations on success <laughs> tell us about this book oh i'm so excited about it um you know, when when I was a little boy, <laughs> I always I always <laughs> wanted to be an author, and 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 actually just you know hearing you're too stupid, you'll never be you'll never be an author, and things of like like that. Well, now I am, <laughs> and it's just a dream fulfilled. And what it is, it's conversations on success, and eleven authors share success strategies and stories, and. We have, alongside me, I have um, Dr. John Gray is a contributing author, um, Tom Hopkins, and Danny Cox are the celebrity authors. And it's really exciting because it's my first attempt, let's say, at, at a book, and now I'm working on, on my next book. So it's exciting. And so did you, what, what did you do to overcome your own fears so that you could do and live the life that you want? Oh my gosh, what did I do? Well, um, I, I really lived my life moving through fear all of my life. Um, when I was a little boy, my mother was an alcoholic. I was an abused child. i have been raped. i have been molested. Um, and my grandmother always said, um, to, to basically turn the other cheek and, and always forgive. And I never really, really knew what that meant. Um, but I just, I kept moving through it. The, the first thing was at the age of 10, telling my, telling my mother, I can't live here anymore. Um, and moving out and, and then moving in with my grandmother. And then throughout the years I danced and choreographed and that helped me move through my fear and my emotion. It helped me really deal with my emotions of what was going on in my life. And then about four years ago, I saw a TV show called Starting Over. It was um, about five women who changed their life, and the sure. first season was filmed in Chicago. And there was a life coach on there, Rhonda Britton. And listening to intuition, uh, my intuition said I was going to work with her someday. I'm like, okay. And, and just a few days later, I actually got an email from the Institute um, asking me to take a coaching quiz. Um, to see if I'd be a co you know a good coach, wow. a good life coach, and and I found it was one of those synchronistic things. We all, you know, I don't believe in in um, what's the word? Everything happens for a reason, basically. Nothing is by coincidence. So okay. I took the quiz, and and boom, you know, you would be great. You have great listening skills, so on and so forth. And then I started taking classes, and I took a, a online tele. Uh, uh, teleclass with Rhonda Britton, Change Your Life in 30 Days. 
and continued to take courses and workshops through the Fearless Living Institute. And after about a year and a half, decided, okay, I'm going to enter the, I'm going to apply for the coaching program. First, that was the first step, just apply, um, because the fear was telling me, you're not going to get accepted, you're too stupid, you didn't go to college, all of that stuff. Um, and then I was accepted and then went through the coaching program and then graduated, and now I'm a certified Fearless Living Life Coach. Isn't that great? Talking with mm-hmm. David Beck here on Al Q in the Morning, where our toll-free number is 866-305-6887 if you have any questions. Uh, for David, we'd of course welcome you to uh, join our conversation. And as I mentioned, he is part of the fifth anniversary edition of Conversations on Success. And what 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 do you think is the the biggest mistake people make in st- stopping themselves from, or, or, or biggest mistake they make in trying to live the life that they want to live? People. Will, will stumble along the way. What, what, yes. what's, the, what's the primary thing that we all do? Uh, I would say the primary thing is saying and believing that we can't. Um, so often, I can't do that. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time. When the bottom line is we really, 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 truly can do anything that we want. It all comes down to choice. And, you know, our excuses get in the way. Our expectations get in the way. Um, rather, we spend so much time visualizing, which I talk about in the book. I break down what it means to evolve in the next level. And we spend so much time visualizing the negative and being in the ick of our life and the victimization mode that we don't spend enough time visualizing what we want to be, where we want to go, and who we want to meet. Um, when I put, uh, when I produced and choreographed my first concert, I I physically sat there for about two hours each day, just visualizing what was going to be, just focusing. Whether it was right, wrong, indifferent, anything maybe wouldn't happen. I just visualized what I wanted and opened my mind enough to show me a picture. So I can take the next step on creating that. So to go back to that question, the biggest thing that stops us is saying, I can't. And it's so funny because so many of our our problems are, are blocked by the most basic, simple thing. And our routes to success can also be the most simple, basic things. Isn't that true? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's baby steps. It's taking one step at a time. And when we think that we don't know, when we say, I don't know, first, great. Great for acknowledging that you don't know. And yet, we do know. It's it's asking ourselves, well, what do I want to do? And, and if I did know, what does that look like? You know, we could think of maybe how something would be for someone else. However, it's all an experience. What, Larry, you experience, I may experience completely different and vice versa. We don't, we really don't know until we move through it ourselves. Mm. And so, and so is, is, does, in, in having that attitude, does that help you in the, the, um, the process of elimination? So if you think, well, you know, I'd like to do this, 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 and this, and because a lot of us have a lot of desires for our lives. And not everything we want is right for us. Correct. Yeah. So do you, do you find that it's necessary to kind of be open, give everything a little bit of a taste, and eventually the right thing will, yes, will yes. find you? Being, being open, having faith, and, and really trusting self. It, all, it does come back to trusting ourselves. We're here in this moment. We've gotten here somehow. We're alive and we're surviving one way or another. So trust that we do have the skills to create the success that we want, to create the life in freedom that we want. And, and you know, a, a big thing, too, is judgment. How we judge ourselves, how we judge one another, and, and put ourselves either up on a pedestal above another or put ourselves down 
the comparison thing. Mm. Comparing, comparing ourselves to another or another to another, it's all fear-based. When, when we compare in a negative light and, oh, they're better than I am, which I did for years, and, and it really held me back, it, it, it keeps us held back. Mm. Very interesting if you think about it. Very, very interesting indeed. Talking with David Beck here on our Q in the morning where our toll-free number is 866-305-687. And David Beck is among the folks contributing to the book Conversations on Success, yeah. which is available everywhere. He's also the founder of Evolution, the Next Level. And uh, tell us a little bit about, about, about that. Well, Evolution, the Next Level began as a way for as a vessel for me just to self-express through choreography and creating shows. And since it has developed into my coaching practice where my dance classes, I'm also utilizing life skills and, and um, giving my students exercises that aren't just about dance. They're the life skills, how to shift our expectations. One of my big things that I was just working on them is the word but and how, how, quickly that word comes out of our mouth but and the trick to that is just shifting it to and really uh, yep yep and because you know it's larry i love you but and then what are you waiting for yeah yeah so it's i love you and or you know however that works but with evolution the next level it's now um evolved into my coaching practice and i'm so excited because i've just designed a new teleclass um, that's going to be starting in June um, about evolution and the next level of your success. So basically, it's for nine weeks, we're going to be discussing, coming up with strategies, creating the success in our own individual lives that we seek. Wow. And so how Very can, excited about it. How can, people, how can people learn more about that? Uh, they can just uh, pop on my website, evolutionthenextlevel.com, and, and register there, and as well as that's where you can purchase my book with my cover. Well, they're very, very good. Well, David Beck, thank you for joining us today. It's always light, lovely to talk with you, and uh, you're such a positive, uh, lovely, lovely man. And so <laughs> give your web address one more time for people. Um, www.evolutionthenextlevel.com. All right, there you go. Out Q in the morning with Larry Flynn. Out Q in the morning with Larry Flynn on Sirius Out Q 109.